I'm begging you, good Mercutio. Let's call it a day. It's hot outside and the capitalists are moving around. If we bump into them, we'll certainly get into a fight. When it's hot outside, people become angry and hot blooded. You're like one of the guys who walked into the bar, slams his sword down, and then says, I pray and never have to use you. By the time he orders his second drink, he pulls his sword on a bartender for no reason at all. I'm really like one of those guys. You come on, you can be as angry as any guy in Italy. When someone does the smallest thing to get you angry, you get angry. When you're in the mood to get angry, you find something to get mad about. And what about that? If there were two men like you, pretty soon there'd be none because the two of you would kill each other. If there were a man with one more whisker or one less whisker in his beard than yours, you'd fight. You'll fight a man who's cracking nuts just because you have hazel nut colored eyes. Only you would look for a fight like that. Your head is as full of fights as an egg is full of yolk. But your head has been beaten like scrambled eggs from so much fighting. You started a fight with a man who coughed in the street because he woke up a dog that was sleeping in the sun. Then you argued out with your tailor for wearing new suits before the right season. And another for trying new shoes he made with old laces. And yet, you're the one who wants to teach me about restraint. If I were in the habit of fighting the way you are, my insurance rates would be sky high. Your life insurance? That's foolish. All great. Who from the capitalists? Well, well, I don't care. Follow me. I'll go talk to one of them. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'd like a word with one of you. You just want a word with one of us? Put it together with something else. Make it a word and a blow. You'll find me right enough to do that, sir, if you give me a reason. Can't you find a reason without my giving you one? Mercutio, you hang out with Romeo. Hang out? Who do you think we are? Musicians in a band? If we look like musicians to you, you can hear nothing but noise. This is my fiddlestick. I'll use it to make you dance. God dang it. Hang out? We're talking here in a public place. Either go somewhere private or talk it over rationally. Or else just go away. Out here, everybody can see us. Men's eyes were made to see things, so let them watch. I won't move to please anybody. Well, may peace be with you. Here comes the man. The man that was before. He's not your man. Alright. Walk into the field and he'll chase you. In that sense, you can call him your man. Romeo, there's only one thing I can call you. You're a villain. Tybalt, I have to love you. That lets me put aside the rage I should feel and excuse that insult. I am no villain, so goodbye. I can tell that you don't know who I am. Your words can't excuse the harm you've done me. So turn, and draw your sword. I disagree. i never done you harm. I love you more than you can understand. Until you know the reason I love you, and so good calculate, which is a name I love, like my own, you should be satisfied with what I say. This calm submission is dishonorable and vile. The thrust of a sword will end the surrender. Tybalt, you rat catcher, will you go fight with me? What do you want from me? Good king of cats, I want to take one of your nine lives. I'll take one, and depending how you treat me after that, I might beat the other eight out of you too. Will you pull your sword out of its sheath? Hurry up, or I'll smack you on the ears with my sword before you have yours drawn. I'll fight you. No, Mercutio. Put your sword away. Come on, sir. Perform your forward thrust, your casado. Hi -ya! Draw your sword, Benvolio. Let's beat down their weapons. Stop this disgraceful fight. The prince has been fighting in the streets of Verona. Stop, Tybalt. Stop, Ben Mercutio. Let's get away, Tybalt. Let's get away. I've been hurt. May I play curse both your families. I'm finished. Do you get away clean? What? Are you hurt? Yes, yes. It's a scratch. Just a scratch. But it's enough. Where's my page? Go, boy. Get me a doctor. Have courage. Can't be that bad. No. It's not as deep as a well, nor as wide as a church door. But it's enough. It'll do the job. Ask for me tomorrow, and you'll find me in the grave. I'm done for in the world, I believe. May a plague strike 
both your houses. God damn it. I can't believe that dog, that rat, that mouse, that cat could scratch me to death. That beggar, punk villain who fights like he learns swordsmanship from a manual. Why the hell did he, you come in between us? He struck me from under your arm. I thought it was the right thing to do. <sighs> Take me in some house, man, valuable. I'll pass out. May a plague strike both your families. <sighs> They've turned me into food for worms. I'm done for. Curse your families. This gentleman, Crucio, a close relative of the prince, and my dear friend, was killed while defending me from Tybalt's slander. Tybalt, who had been my cousin for a whole hour. Oh, sweet Juliet, your beauty has softened me and made me weak like a woman. And you have softened my bravery, which before was as hard as steel. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, brave Mercutio is dead. His brave spirit has flowed out to heaven, but it was too early for him to leave life on earth. The future will be affected by today's terrible events. Today is the start of a terror that will end in the days ahead. Here comes the furious to ball back again. He's alive! And victorious! And Mercutio's dead? Enough with mercy and consideration. It's time for rage to guide my actions. Now, Tybalt, you can call me a villain the way you did before. Mercutio's soul is floating above our heads. He's waiting for you to keep him company on the way up to heaven. Either you or I or both have to go with him. Wretched boy, you hung out with him here. And you're going to go to heaven with him. This fight will defy who dies. Ah! 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 Ah!